Apple's March event is right around the corner, but what's coming? What products are on the way? What should you expect? In today's episode, I got that full list. I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna take that full list. I'm gonna bundle it all up and I'm gonna uh, put it in you. What? This is the only tech news show on the internet that gives you tech news and exclusive leaks. So hit subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT, the show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Uh, I'm going to keep this one short. I know it's Sunday, so I'm going to keep this real. I'm going to make this real quick so that you guys can go back to jerking off or whatever you do on Sundays normally, you bunch of weirdos. <laughs> all right, so first up for the day, story numero uno, Apple is making hell. Yeah, like actual hell that you can attach to the back of your iPhone with magnets. A MagSafe battery pack. Uh huh. Just as they've given us extended smart battery cases for iPhones before, this is exactly as it sounds. A MagSafe compatible battery pack that just sticks on the back of your phone with. No, I'm just kidding. I won't. I won't do it again. Magnets. Now, Steve from Mac Rumors was actually the first person to spot this. He found it in software that hinted to it. And then Mark Gurman from Bloomberg put out a report saying that Apple is in fact working on this exact thing. All right, I gotta be honest, and I mean this in the most polite way possible. Kill me. This sounds absolutely terrible. I have the uh, the stupid MagSafe wallet doohickey thing that sticks on the back of your iPhone 12. And it works just about as well as Walt Jr.'s legs. I don't care what you think. That thing is an actual nightmare. It never stays on. When you pull it out of your pocket, it always comes out a little... So I can only imagine that a MagSafe battery pack would be even heavier than the MagSafe wallet, in which case it'll stay on even less. And by the end of the day, I'll just want to light myself on fire. I'm serious. I would rather just let my phone die, break it up into pieces, and then use said pieces to hunt and kill for food and survival. I would rather be a caveman than buy that nightmare with magnets and stick it to the back of my phone and into my life. No, thank you. All right, listen, this is the tech show. You're watching a tech show. You don't need me to tell you what a VPN is or why you need one. What I can tell you is that my boys over at WeVPN are all VPN veterans who were just tired of all the sketchy practices of other VPNs that they worked for, so they joined forces and created one of the fastest and most secure VPNs out there. For only three bucks a month on a yearly plan, you get access to all premium features, a choice of over 50 server locations, and yes, you can use WeVPN to unblock most streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, and tons more. They're already offering 62% off right now with one month free, and you, because you're a Front Page Tech viewer, can subtract an additional 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. My challenge to you is that even if you're already using a VPN right now, if you like this show, if you trust me, click the link down in the description right now to give WeVPN a try. Okay, welcome back. So last up, let's talk about the March event. For what it's worth, yes, there is a March event, happening. March event is gonna happen. Now, as far as what we can expect, well, there have been a ton of rumors for what's coming from AirTags to AirPods to iMac and iPad, even rumors of an iPhone SE 3 on the way. Honestly, lots of really great guesses, but I have the full rundown for you of actual products in this episode. Are you ready? Exclusive list coming right up. What is this thing? What am I doing with my hand? Why? Why are we doing this myself? AirTags iPad Pro, Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro, and that, uh, uh, well, that's it. At least that's all I have been told. Now, hang on, to make the lives of the tech journalists out there easier, uh, I just wanna say, wanna clarify, I'm not saying that nothing else is coming at this event. I'm just saying that's all I know about. That's all I was told about, those three things. AirTags, iPads, Magic Keyboard. To me, this feels like another one of those quick, bite-sized, heavily edited, like 60-minute live streams. And I guess this leaves room for something like what we saw at the end of last year, where there were multiple events back to back to back in September, October, and November. I'm not saying that's what's happening with this one this time. I'm just saying that the structure for this March event definitely leaves room for something like that. And keep in mind that AirTags are a brand new product category for them, so this lets them take up a good chunk of time talking about them. And 
you know, trying to apple it up and convince you to buy them. Magical and mystical, oh my god. I'm just excited to see just how accurate our renders of air tags were. I think we leaked these back in September last year, I've some something like that. And as far as I know, the only change to air tags from when I leaked this design to now is right here. The final version, I've been told, might not actually have that Bluetooth LE label on the back. Just a minor thing, not sure why they would have changed it, but we'll see. If this is it though, right? Like if this is in fact all that's happening, there's gonna be a March event and it's just these products, are you disappointed? I mean, to be honest, I like this. Smaller drops of products spread out more evenly throughout the year. It just keeps things fresh and exciting for longer rather than just having massive product drops once or twice a year. And I'm not gonna lie, I love these edited pre-taped events a lot better than the traditional regular smegula in front of a crowd event. But you gotta let me know. You gotta tell me what you think about this whole thing down in the comments below. Uh, who knows? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think we're gonna see even more products? Some Something crazy? You think we're gonna get an iMac? Or iPhone SE3. Maybe they'll bring Steve Jobs back. I mean, you never, you don't know. You never know. You don't, don't look at me like that. You don't know. I mean, if Steve Jobs was here, at least my iPhone wouldn't look like this. Worthless. Why do you even exist? And that's it. That's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate my stupid face, dislike button. That works too. Lots of people like that one. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, go on with your bad self. Carry on with your usual Sunday activities. We know what that is. We know what you're doing. Okay. I'm, I'm going to leave now.